Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Law. I work in the Office for Global Engagement here in CALS. I'm a study abroad advisor. And today I'm with Maddie Clemmy. She is a student travel consultant in our office and she's gonna talk about her study abroad experience and how to market that experience for potentially a job interview and for the upcoming career fair. Yeah, as Melissa said, I am Maddie Clemmy. I am one of the student travel consultants here in the CALS study abroad office. And I am also a senior, double majoring agricultural communication and international agriculture. Awesome. So for our first question, um, this is a common question you might receive in an interview. It is, um, tell me about yourself. Yeah, very, very common question. Um, I'm sure you're not only going to get this in interviews, but also just at the career fair. So being able to answer that question very well is kind of like the beginning of your interview and whatnot. So making sure you answer that well is important. And a great way to answer that is after, you know, you talk about yourself, your majors, your experiences, your club activities, and maybe even where you're from, to then maybe also highlight that you had an international experience and that you studied abroad to whatever country it was in that, that study abroad experience focused on um, whatever it was focusing on, whether it be agronomy, um, global resources, horticulture, whatever it may be, make sure you highlight that. And then you really talk about that experience and how it impacted you and what you gained from it. Um, another common question you might receive at the career fair or at a potential interview would be, tell me about a time you had to work with someone that had a different perspective than you. How could you incorporate maybe your study abroad experience into that? Yeah, I think, you know, especially for that question, highlighting your international experience is important because not only were you, you know, talking with someone or you were working with someone who had a different perspective than you. Mm -hmm. You were working with someone and talking with someone who was from a different country, from a different culture, who spoke Definitely. a different language than you, who, you know, views things very different from you, differently from you. So making sure that you're highlighting that and that you, you know, your international experience helped you, you know, learn a lot more about that culture, that language, agriculture, life sciences, and you know how Sometimes viewpoints differ mm -hmm. culture to culture, country to country, and even kind of city to city over in different parts of the world is important, I think, to highlight that and to explain, you know, how you work through that issue and ultimately kind of what you learned from that experience. Awesome. Thanks, Maddie. Another question you could receive is, can you talk about a time when you faced a challenge? Yeah, I think. Once again, it's another great question to highlight that study abroad experience, whether it be semesterly or that you only did that short term travel course. But just making sure that, you know, you highlight because I'm sure no matter what type of experience you had internationally, I'm sure you faced a challenge somewhere, whether it be a delayed flight, um, a farm tour or a tour that was canceled, maybe the place you were living at or staying at, maybe something fell through and something got mixed up. Yeah. but we all face challenges, especially, you know, when you're abroad in a different country. I think it's important to highlight how you overcame that experience and, you know, how you became a better person because of that experience. And I think it's also really important to use kind of like words like you adapted, you were flexible. I think employers really like to hear those words. And then just kind of overall, make sure you can articulate that experience and how you overcame it. Perfect. Following that, a next one, a next question that you might receive is what have you gained by studying internationally? Obviously, if it's listed on your resume, which hopefully it is, um, an employer could potentially seek that out and ask you a specific question related to your study abroad experience. So maybe talk about what are things that you gained um, by going abroad? Yes, I think three things come to mind um, when answering this question. First, being culturally, everyone experiences a new culture when they're abroad, from the language to the different crops that are down there, the livestock, the different practices that they do, and even just how people interact with one another in different cultures. I think, secondly, um, professional development is a big thing. It might not, when you're thinking about studying abroad, you might not think that you're going to gain a professional skill, but a lot of skills that you do learn and that you do experience are professional and they help you you know develop into someone that's ready to go into an internship or someone ready to enter the workforce and lastly i think growing personally is another thing to highlight 
you grow a lot when you study abroad, even if it's for those 10 days or if it's a semester long, you grow a lot and you learn a lot about yourself. And, you know, taking that time for that reflection too, I think at the end of your study abroad to, you know, really think about what you learn culturally, professionally, and personally will really help you answer that question. Awesome. And finally, um, what sets you apart from other candidates? How can um, our Cal students incorporate their study abroad experience um, when talking to industry reps on how that differs from maybe their competitors? Mm -hmm. For that question, I think it's really important important to not only once again highlight yourself and you know how you are the best the best fit for that position, mm -hmm. but also that you have that that global knowledge, that global you know involvement. You've seen the different agricultural and life sciences practices that have happened in Ghana or that have happened in Rome or that have happened in Singapore. And I think it's really important to highlight those things to show them that you understand that agriculture and life sciences isn't just at the state level or at the national level, but it's at the global level. We all know that, that our industry does happen at a global level. And I think highlighting that and sharing that with employers is something that they not only appreciate, but something that they're also wanting more and more of these days. Mm -hmm. Definitely sets you apart, I mm -hmm. think, from other candidates. Well, thank you so much, Maddie, for your time today. Um, I really think it's important and insightful for students to know and understand that how they can market their study abroad experience, especially with the upcoming career fair. Um, so if you have more questions, we are available in 0018 Curtis Hall to assist you in marketing your study abroad experience. Um, we look forward to seeing you at the career fair. We'll have a booth ourselves. Um, if you need a low stakes environment or a kind of a landing zone before you go talk to um, some of the industry reps, feel free to stop by our booth. Um, we also have a podcast with Mike Gall from last spring that we'd encourage um, everyone to listen to as well. So thanks so much and we'll see you at the career fair.